Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing another unboxing and setup. In this case, it's going to be the Chromecast Ultra. Recently, I just bought a 4K TV, so now I actually have a use for this bad boy. So we're gonna go through the box, see what's inside, show you the basic setups of how to download the app, show you how to set it up on the TV, what it looks like. So without further ado, let's get started. That being said, this is the Chromecast Ultra, so it does support the 4K HDR capability. And if you kind of turn around the box, it kind of gives you a little bit of information about the product here. You can see that your phone is the remote. If you've never used a Chromecast before, you use your phone and the Google Home app to go through set it up, which is what we're gonna show you how to do today. You set it up and it will use your phone as the remote for the actual Chromecast itself. Stream on, make your 4K TV smarter, simply plug into your HDMI port, connect to Wi-Fi, and start streaming in up to 4K HDR. This particular unit does have Wi-Fi, but it also has an Ethernet Ethernet port and we'll get to that here in just a moment. We spin it around here again 4k HDR 2.4 or 5 gigahertz wireless Wi-Fi support start streaming with your Google Voice or your Google Home so if you have Google Home you can actually connect these two and use the Google Home to command the uh, Chromecast screen mirroring from Android and laptops basically that works from any computer you just download Chrome and it gives you the cast ability you can cast like your tabs or everything else like that of course it's got HDMI just plugs directly into the TV and it works with Android iPhone iPad Mac Windows and Chromebook anything that basically supports a a Chrome browser. If we just pull the top off, you can see immediately you've got the device right there, which is actually really nice. I've got a uh, Chromecast Generation 1 here I'll bring in real quick, and you can kind of see the difference between the two. So you can see, here's the, you can see here's the Chromecast Generation 1, and then you've got this nice sleek design. If we pull that out, it's very lightweight, very, it does, it looks like it's uh, about just as thick, but what's nice is the HDMI cable has a magnet which doesn't take up as much space behind the TV, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Again, plug in the power, HDMI or TV, switch to your TV and port to, of course, the correct HDMI input, and then, of course, download, download the app. Don't need those. And the last thing that we've got in the box here is just a power cable. Again, this power cable is unique. If you are familiar with Chromecast, you'll know that on these ones right here, you have a USB that you'd plug directly into there and you can plug it in either into the TV USB port or you can plug it into a special adapter for AC power. In this particular case, because it is a higher unit, and what I mean by that is it has more powerful equipment, it does actually have a fixed power cable, but it also has the HD or the Ethernet on the power brick as well, so you can plug in and uh, get the most out of your 4K content. So, so yeah, that's what's in the box right there. So we're gonna go down to the TV. I'll download the app, or I'll show you guys how to download the app, and then also connect it into your TV, and uh, we'll set this bad boy up. So the first thing, of course, of what you're gonna want to do is, of course, you've got your your actual unit itself with the uh, micro USB on the side there, which is kind of hard to see. Come on, there we go. And then, of course, you've got your power cable. You're gonna want to plug this end of it into the the actual unit itself like so so you've got it nice and connected there and then of course this plugs into the wall and this pl this plugs right into a HDMI port on your TV so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now once you've got it plugged into the back of the TV in an HDMI port and you've also got it plugged into a power outlet, it's gonna take about a minute or so for it to fully boot up. In the meantime, what you can do, you can either go to the Google Play or the App Store on iOS to download the app because once it brings up, it's gonna take you to this screen right here where it says to get started, download the Google Home app. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up the Google Home app. So you're gonna to wanna to find, you're gonna to wanna to open it up and it's gonna bring you to a spot where it says to create a home if the camera will focus. And once again, if you plug it in first and then download the app, it gives it time for it to boot up and then and when you come into the Google Home app, you can either create a home by clicking getting started, or you'll notice where it says set up one device right up there. You can click on that because it's already detected the device. So we're gonna click on set up one device. And from here, it's gonna ask you to add a home anyway. So we're gonna click add another home. We're gonna click on next, and we're just gonna call this one, we'll just call this one office. And then you go ahead and click on done. And then uh, if you see it right there at the bottom, you click on next. And it's gonna continue to go through and look for the device once again. And once it finds it, it's gonna go ahead and list it on the screen. As you can see, once it has found the device it says chrome cast ultra found you can go ahead and click yes of course you're going to want to match this this name right up here with the name down there at the bottom of the screen right over there and once those are matched up you're going to want to confirm by clicking on yes and it's going to say connecting to chromecast ultra your phone or tablet may disconnect from wi-fi during this setup and it's going to see if you look on the screen on the tv it's given us a connection code that we're going to want to match up here in a moment once the app has completed the uh connecting there we are we've got connected again you're going to see you see the code on your tv that code matches the code right there 
there on the TV. So in this particular case, we are going to click on yes and then help improve Chromecast Ultra. I usually click on no thanks because I don't need Google to have any more telemetry data than what they need. And in this case, if we go down and find office, we're gonna click on that, click on next. You can go through and you can customize these as you need to if you need to add a custom room right there at the bottom. Once you've clicked yes, it's gonna go through and it's gonna find all of the Wi-Fi networks in your area with 4K content. It is recommended to connect it to a five gigahertz network or for best case scenario, you're gonna wanna plug it in with that ethernet cable like you saw on the power adapter and then plug it into, uh, if you've got a switch or a router or modem nearby, you're gonna wanna plug it directly into that. So once you've done that, we're gonna go through and we're actually gonna find, let's see, drop it like it's hotspot. That's my five gigahertz network. It may not work very well because it does have poor signal down here, but we're gonna click okay, got it. And then we're gonna click on next. Now it's gonna ask, remember this password for this Wi-Fi network for setting up future. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that because there's, I have multiple uh, Chromecast devices that we can do. Uh, it says the Wi-Fi networks for your Chromecast Ultra, drop it like it's hot and this device are different. After setup, this device will connect it to drop it like it's hot. So, you, so it's gonna go through and it's gonna connect. Now I do have the drop it like it's hot spot uh, password saved on this phone. So it should be picking that up and it should automatically send that over to the device to use for this one and for future Chromecast devices. So you can see it connected to Wi-Fi, it is connected. And if you look on the TV, it looks like there is an update. But if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, because we put it in the office, it's got office, office TV down there. So we're gonna go through, let this update finished and then we'll be back. One thing to mention, while it is fetching the update, your app does say linking your Chromecast Ultra. Your Chromecast Ultra uses your Google account to personalize your experience. In this case, I'm gonna click on not now. And then stay in the know, stay up to date, latest feature services and offers. And I'm gonna click no thanks on that. And you can see all done. Here's a review of what you set up. Of course, we set up the device and we've connected it to the drop it like it's hotspot Wi-Fi. From here, you're just gonna go ahead and wanna click on continue. And it's gonna say updating Chromecast. Uh, as you can see, Chromecast Ultra software is being installed. Hang tight, this may take three to four minutes. And right now you can see in the TV that the update has finished and it's going to do a reboot to apply the update. So I've got the ethernet cable right here, as you can see, and behind the TV down there, I do have a switch. So if I have to hook this up, I'll plug one end into the AC adapter that came with the Chromecast, and then I'll plug the second end into the switch. Okay, so looking at the app, now that the update has completed, it says Office TV is ready. Look for the cast button in your favorite video and music apps to watch on the big screen. Right here, as you can see, you've got the icon, and then down here, come on camera, you can click on continue. I know that's out of focus. There we go, now folks, then you can see, choose a sample to learn how to cast, Netflix, HBO Now, YouTube, Lego Movie, Hulu. In this case, you can go down to the bottom and click on Skip Tutorial. If you click on that, it's actually going to take you to the media section of the app where you can have your Spotify, YouTube, Google Photos. You can launch different apps from here. So we're gonna click on Open App. And then right here, you can see I've already searched for the 4K Ultra Video content. So we're gonna click on the second one down here and uh, show you guys what this actually looks like. So if we start it over from the beginning, you can see that there's a cast icon in the top right-hand corner. We're gonna click on that and it's going to ask you which one you'd like to cast to or click Office TV. In the background, you can see it loading on the TV and it's going to load the video that we want to play. Of course, this is 4K content so you can see exactly what's going on. Sony presents, you've got 4K up at the top right hand corner and then if you look in the bottom, 3840 by 2160 pixels, that is 4K. So this will go through and just show you, I'm actually really surprised that this is playing as smooth as it is because the poor, the quality down here for the uh, five gigahertz network is actually pretty poor. You can go through and you can use the five gigahertz, the 2.4 or the ethernet. If you do use the 2.4, you may end up getting some like a lot of buffering or a lot of choppiness for playback. So you may want to look at different options as far as either getting a five gigahertz network or finding a different way to uh, plug it in with the ethernet cable just to avoid that choppiness or that playback. So. One last thing that I wanted to add for you guys is as you can see it right on the app here, if you're done casting or you wanna change the volume, just click on the video itself and come up to the little cast icon once again. From here, you can have a pause option. You can change the volume of it. As you can see in the blurry background right there that the TV is changing the volume of it. But once you're complete streaming, you just wanna go ahead and click on stop casting. And what that's going to do is it's gonna stop casting the video and put the Chromecast back into its ambient mode for whatever the settings that you had was before. Again, that's just a quick run through on how to, uh, of course, open the box. We all know how to open a box, but also to set up the, the Chromecast Ultra and get the 4K uh, to display if you have a 4K TV. Now, one thing that I have noticed coming from a first generation Chromecast to this one is the responsiveness is much higher. It's very quick. It does have a better processor. It does have more RAM in the actual Chromecast Ultra. So moving from the first generation over to the Ultra is definitely worth it, especially if you have a 4K TV. This thing is actually really solid and it's extremely smooth and looks great. And with 
with that, that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What's your favorite streaming device? Leave your answers in the comments section below the video. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of tech related stuff, all the way from reviews and unboxings to tech news. I'll be sure to link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. And of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and enable the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.